Good morning, happy Sunday. Welcome or welcome back to another video. My name is Bianca, if you're new here. It's so nice to meet you. So today I'm heading off to church, but I'm actually heading to a different church this year. So mine used to have two campuses and the campus I went to closed, but also still on this rockin' knee scooter, so I can't drive. Um, so I'm actually going to my roommate's church, so I hope I really like it. And here's the outfit for the day. So I have the skirt I thrifted, a black t-shirt, and one chaco, and a walking boot. <laughs> Most of us would look at something like a thorn and say, no, I don't want that. To Hello, happy Monday. I just finished my fourth class of the day. Um, Mondays are quite busy. It's a little after 4 p.m. I'm going to sit down and do some homework until dinner and then my friends are gonna pick me up and we're gonna head back to our suite. I'm in two separate dorms right now. Um, because my regular dorm is at the bottom of a very big hill on campus and I wouldn't be able to get up it and down it using the scooter very easily. So they've moved me up to a more central dorm. Um, but as I talked about, it's not like decorated or anything and I don't get to hang out with my friends. So um, I'm looking forward to that tonight. Also, I got some book mail. So this package, I believe is from my university. Um, and has my books for hopefully my Judaism class. I need those ones for tomorrow. So yes, it seems like that's what we have here. So an introduction to Judaism, which is the book we're currently going through, and then Judaism, which is a Norton anthology. I believe we read the Islam one of this for my Islam class last year. And then when I left my internship this summer, they were very gracious and they gave me a $50 gift card to, I think it's called Better World Books, which is like an online thrift bookstore, which I've used thrift books before, but this one was new. And so I ordered three books, um, one which is for class and then two just to read. So I'm struggling getting this open. So I'll be back when I have it open. Okay, I got the package open. So the one I got for school is called The Boy Who Was Raised as a Dog. Uh, my friends read this and they said it's really, really difficult to get through. Um, but I had this on ebook, but I just don't really like reading on ebook. Um, and then I got the program by Suzanne Young. And this is a book that has been around the YA dystopian era for a hot minute now. I don't know what year it came out. Um, 2013. I think. Yeah, 2013. Um, and I've seen it around for many, many years. And because it was only like three bucks, I decided to pick it up. And then Two Can Keep a Secret by Karen M. McManus. I read One of Us is Lying this summer and the sequel to that. And so I really enjoyed her writing style. It was enjoyable. So I decided to pick this up since it was pretty cheap as well. Hello, happy Tuesday. I had cultural anthropology this morning and then chapel and now I'm on my way to lunch and then Judaism and then I have a work meeting. So I should have things settled down by around 3.30. No, it sucks. You just assumed you had no social life. Yep. Hello and happy Thursday. I got up at 7.30 this morning and did my quiet time. And now it is 8.45 and I'm heading off to my first 9 a.m. which is cultural anthropology.
it is September 1st already. I cannot believe how fast this year is going. Um, but my roommate Ridley and I wanted to do something for Back to Hogwarts because we're both huge Harry Potter fans. But being on this scooter and being poor college students, um, we didn't have a ton of resources. So we're just going to watch Deathly Hallows Part 2 and Goblet of Fire, which are our two favorite movies at the moment. Mine's technically Prisoner of Azkaban, but I'm choosing Deathly Hallows Part 2 because I've seen Prisoner of Azkaban on so many plane rides recently. And then I have all of these treats. Um, we're gonna make butterbeer and then I ordered some treats for us to um, eat and we'll kind of take you along a little bit through the night. I have a ton of Harry Potter card games we can play. We're just gonna really hang out and have a lot of fun and not do homework. <laughs> Here is the sweet setup. It's supposed to be like anything off the trolley. Um, I didn't get around to ordering letters, so these will just have to do. Um, and then each of us has a wand, which you'll see what characters they are later. Ridley has no idea about those. And then I ordered us milk chocolate, chocolate frogs. Um, these I got when I went to the Wizarding World in 10th grade. Um, and then we're just going to fill them with butterbeer for a recipe we found online. And then these were filled originally with green M&Ms, but I just changed them out for regular M&Ms that we can put in our popcorn. And then Birdie Bots, every flavor beans, which will go great with one of the games. Here you can see the absolute mess that is all of our other games, but I have just brought out our Harry Potter themed game. So we have Trivial Pursuit, which is what we'll use the Birdie Bots, every flavor beans for, Spot It, Uno, and then Hogwarts Battle. And then here, just right above it, hello. Um, we'll be starting Goblet of Fire whenever Ridley gets back from class. And then here in this fridge are all of the, we just got cream soda, um, whipped cream, vanilla extract, caramel syrup. And then in here, we also got some ice cream so we can do um, butterbeer and then the ice cream we could do like butterbeer floats. And we can't forget the popcorn. Are you excited? Look under the table. Oh, oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's got the little frogs. Okay, I don't know what that is, but looks Look on your side. Oh, uh, I'm gonna do that. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm so excited. This is my like dream. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to order letters, but those oh, will have to fine. do. Yeah, okay. this is like every dream I have. Look at whose it is. You might be able to tell if you know them. Uh, and... <gasps> <laughs> so I asked you who your favorite character was. This is amazing. This is my first ever one. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, tell everyone whose it is. Top. Yours looks so good. It actually looks like butterbeer. I know. Real test will be to see if it tastes yeah. like it. Bam. You haven't had good luck recently, so. I'm really hoping I don't get a foul one again. Oh, this is really <laughs> yellow. Uh, what? Yeah, <laughs> The oh, Sherbert lemon? Yeah. It's so violently <laughs> lemon. <Ew. laughs> oh my gosh. It drops to hot. That's what I was wondering. Hello and happy Saturday. Thank you for coming along with me this week. My parents ended up coming down for Labor Day. And today we just did some shopping and hung out and played Skippo and watched movies. We watched Perks of Being a Wallflower and then my dad watched some other movie while my mom and I were playing games. Um, but it's really been a good week and hoping that next week I am told I can walk. So join along for that and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.